Good morning, everyone. I have a camera person working with me today. My beautiful assistant is behind the camera. Vicky helping me uh, film today because Ryan's out of town right now. So we have a brand new project. If you guys remember back on number uh, 691, I did a uh, wedding gift sign for some old friends. Well, that thing at the wedding, at the reception, it was such a big hit. Everybody just went crazy over it. The actual bride and groom, their best friends are getting married pretty soon and they ordered one from me. Anyway, um, so I found this piece of walnut actually was, was uh, the same group of walnut that I got. And uh, so I've got this long piece, but what I wanna do on this, the reason I wanted to lay these out is because that tells me how long my board needs to be. This is a, a live edge here, this is cut off, but I'm gonna fix that and make this look this kind of match this to where it's live edge and so what I really want to do is try to emulate this kind of live edge over on this end so I'm just gonna literally kind of cut it randomly down here and then sand it a lot so it looks kind of like this live edge so that's the only reason I've laid this on here but this is kind of the first step so now I can cut this probably just cut it with my jigsaw and then I'll do some sanding. I gotta surface this whole thing down, do some sanding on the edges, get it kind of all smoothed down. Then we'll kind of take it from there. But these are gonna be outset letters, inset letters, uh, inch and a half Clarendon, uh, one inch Clarendon, and then some three quarter inch Clarendon on, on the bottom. So stick with us and we'll go right through the process step by step. First guys, I have to explain something. I planned on doing this cutoff with the jigsaw, but it didn't really work. So I went to the bandsaw and unfortunately I didn't film that. So I did that off camera. Um, and then I surfaced this whole thing with the 40 grit uh, disc sander. Next, I needed to surface it down even more. The 40 grit took it rough, but I decided to go ahead and use the 60 grit as well. Okay, what I did here is I needed to clamp my piece down to the bench. Then I took my cuts all disc and I wanted to really grind down the edges to get the shape that I wanted. Then I took my, I realized I had a rough disc on there and I decided to switch over to the medium disc. Okay, we got the board prepped. Now we need to start the layout process. Here I'm using our Clarendon letters, which is my favorite font. And by the way, you can get all of these layout letters and lots of other fonts over at our website, makeawoodsign.com. So the first thing I need to do is arch the top line. And then once that is done, I make sure it's centered from side to side in the middle of the board. Then all of the subsequent lines going down will be centered on that top line, just to make sure we have symmetry from one side of the board to the other and top to bottom. Once all the letters are in place, 
We're gonna spray it with our black primer, being very careful not to spray too heavy because these, these letters will fly on you if you don't have a light touch with the spray can. Next, we're getting into the carbon. So first, I use my profile bit. I'm using my profile bit set at about 3 16 deep on all of the outset letters on the top line. I will use the same profile bit, uh, adjusting the depth to about an eighth of an inch on the small three quarter inch inset letters. Next, it's time to do the one inch inset letters. So my general go-to when I'm doing, especially if I'm doing Clarendon inset letters, my, my go-to on one inch or below or above is my 60 degree V-groove bit. I love this bit for doing one inch or above inset letters. It gives it a really nice look, nice and wide, and I'm somewhere just slightly over eighth of an inch deep on these one inch letters. Next, it's time to do my favorite part, which is the background around the outset letters. Now here I'm using my 90 degree bit, 
which is my standard go-to anytime I'm doing background. It's not ex exclusively the one I use, but it's the one I use most often. I'm going about a quarter of an inch deep because I like that deep look and that texture that my standard texture that I leave. And make sure after you do your, especially after you do your background, that you take a stiff bristle brush and really brush that background to get all of the loose chips. Turn it over and shake it out. Use air to get the, the all the chips out of there and definitely you can't brush it too much. Brush it, brush it, brush it hard with a stiff bristle brush. Okay, now it's time to spray our black. So I mask this off because I really don't want any black on the edge. While I'm spraying, I want to spray from two different directions to make sure that there's not any, a lot of white spots in the, back there in the background. But what you don't want to do is definitely don't over spray. it's time for our sanding so first if you guys have been watching very long you know my favorite sander is the DeWalt disc sander I use this one first to relate to remove about 90% of the black from the surface of the board I'm using a 60 grit disc so that it is pretty aggressive to get that black off of there Next, I'm using my random orbital with a 120 grit so I can get a nice smooth surface for my finish. Here's my favorite part, you guys. I love the part where I'm actually applying a finish and get to see this grain and this figuring in this beautiful piece of walnut come alive. So I'm using on this Czar Exterior Water-Based Polyurethane. That is my favorite go-to exterior finish. I love the way this stuff works and I especially love the way it sprays with my critter gun. All right, you guys, there it is. It's all done. So this is a solid walnut, and I really love the way this thing came out. I put three coats of the Czar exterior water-based polyurethane on it, and it's got a really nice finish, super smooth. I sand it in between coats uh, just to knock down the edge, and uh, so it's all done. I'm ready to ship this thing off to the customer. Hope he likes it. And uh, just one note, I know there's a bunch of new people on here. We've got a bunch of new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please know that you can always email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com if you have any questions, anything that I can help with. We've got 1,800 plus videos, but sometimes that's a lot to, uh, a lot to get through. So if I can help in any way, please email me. I'm happy to help however I can. Uh, there's the website where we have all of our supplies, router bits, base plates, all that stuff. We do actually sell products on our, uh, on our website, supplies of what we use. So um, thanks again, guys. We sure appreciate you. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.